yes, this is part two of Joan Rivers, um, and number two on the countdown, of course. But yeah, I'm just gonna post this together with the original. Um, so I'm gonna do the charms, and then I'm gonna get to the astrology. I was looking for my plate while I was stirring that. Uh, all right. So an M came out, M was on the outside, so that's what I picked up, if anybody wants to know. So, as you know, I don't do anything that is outside of the, uh, you know, the plate. So, we have two, you know, dark things, nightmares, dark aspects of personality, stuff like that. Um, that she was either hiding or didn't want to, you know, thing. um, she didn't want to bring to the surface, I would say. Um, so we have the owl. We have some type of magic with that bead. We have some type of thought process, I would say. And then we have some, uh, we have some type of royalty. Um, the lion with the shield. We have the cat paw. I finally figured out what that was. It was a cat paw. It's like the lucky um, cat that sits in the window. So business is good. Um, then we have the rose. Somebody wants to know Joan better. Right. I'm trying to make sneaky deals. Um, then we have the ace of pentacles. I believe we did have ace of pentacles in her reading. We had Ace of Swords. We didn't have Ace of Pentacles. Um, so. Then we had two good things happen. We had Pearl we have two sparklies, which are orange. Um, let's see. So fun, playful creativity. Um, and then we have three purples. Three purples are intuition, spirituality type things. And then we have one yellow. So these were completed if they're stars. So. Oh, I have another orange sparkle. Alright, so the yellow is positivity, strength, and consciousness. So she was well aware of what was going on. Um, so we have an H. We have a Y. We have a W. And we have a Q. Um, Q could probably look up what her last project was. And if it has a H, Y, Q, or W in it. Um, we also have a change. And we have a silver tab. So something to do with a silver tab. Uh, very interesting with Joan's reading. Usually I get like, you know, a lot of other things along with this. But, you know, very different reading. Alright, so, let's put all this away. We even have the little cheese grater. Uh, the cheese grater's cool. So, there might have been a snack. There might have been uh, some food of some kind. Um, uh, probably a light snack. Anyway, you can look at the charms while I read the, um, you know, astrological messages. Um, so the first one is, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Seeking negative attention will backfire, yes. Sometimes it's better to put the ego in a timeout and be anonymous, especially when bad reputation is the only thing you'll gain by speaking out and extreme personalities can be fascinating. But beware of the narcissist masquerading as a charitable leader. Um, yeah, she said something about, um, 
Michelle Obama. That's probably what it is. That always makes me laugh. If you haven't seen her discuss that with TMZ, then you need to go see that clip. That was really funny. Um, but yeah, let's see. We have the next one. She has like... I think there's one more message with this. Alright, so... Once the fog is lifted, you'll have the uh, ability to see past the illusions that have been holding you back. So she was big on, you know, seeing the truth for what it was. Um, so that's why that's there. And then the last one is promise healing and change in your personal life and the wider world through rebirth, transformation, and restoration. So a lot of stuff can be achieved by being true to yourself and also trying to grow from negative or positive situations and restoring a balance between you know yourself anyway that is Joan's reading very interesting reading interesting charms for sure um, very different from most of the celebrities I do her energy is very, like, for as lively as Joan was, it's very, like, like a subtle energy, especially channeling her. Um, it's kind of like, I've said all I can do, I've done all I can do, and it's kind of a borderline, uh, I can't do anything else, and, it, it, you know, it's gonna happen. Like, <laughs> it's kind of like... You know, when your mom just, like, gives up for the day and she's like, just just do whatever and whatever. Like, that's how I feel with Joan. Um, but she has a lot of good advice. Um, a lot of her jokes were based in, like, the more advice column type stuff. And just really funny. Really, like, an instant comic. Um, some people have to write down jokes. Joan just kind of improvises them on the spot. Um, so that's, that's her, you know, genius in watching her do stuff. Like, she'll see something and be like, you know, da 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 and then punchline. Like, I've watched hers for so many years. Like, I know her lineup, and I know, like, how she, like, observes and delivers it. So it's really cool to watch her do her jokes. Um, I'm still watching her. Um, every time I feel sad or something, I watch her and I feel better. Um, it's kind of like one of those sick day remedies. Like, you'll have chicken soup and you'll have, like, a can of whatever soda you're drinking. And you'll watch something and then you'll feel instantly better. That's her for me, you know. It's, I, I've always watched Joan and my mom's like, you know, that's so cool. But, uh, but yeah. Like, I watch a lot of people. I watch, you know, certain movies. I watch certain things. But it's all, you know, within the motion of whatever. But when I'm sick, I just watch Joan. <laughs> I feel better. Like, if I have the flu, if I have a head cold, or I just feel bad, um, I'll watch Joan, perk right up, be back on, you know, doing what I'm doing. So, yep. Anyway, tomorrow's gonna be amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do the, you know, the predictions of what you might be getting this year for Christmas next week. Um, I don't celebrate Christmas, but I like doing these things. Um, so if you do get the things listed, or you get kind of, you know, within means of that, you know, just leave a like on the countdown, I guess. One of the videos that you liked. And I'll know. <laughs> I'll know. I don't know how I'll know, but I'll know. Um, anyway, let's see. I don't know how I should decorate this table. I'll just move everything off. Put it on the floor. Um, and then, you know, have a little, little bit of decoration, I guess. But it should be fun. I'm going to do each horoscope and find out what people are getting. Um, so. Mm. I, 
I'm probably gonna do the best of three. All right, so it'll be fun. So best of three, gift prediction tomorrow, um, and we'll see how right I am. I might not even get it right because my energy is all over the place right now because I have stuff to do and then I have other stuff to do. Um, but yeah, should be a lot of fun. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow uh, so we can get this show on the road. <laughs> I might do a couple videos after the countdown, but I'm not sure yet either. But, uh, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Alright, bye now.